Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So today's video is about what are resonance structures, what are the rules for writing resonance structures and what exactly is a resonance hybrid is what we are going to see in this video. So these are some of the examples that we are going to see in this video. So before understanding the rules of resonance structures, let us first understand what exactly means, what is the meaning of resonance. Now resonance, it, the definition of resonance is delocalization of is delocalization what is the meaning of delocalization movement of electrons is delocalization that means movement of electrons from one atom to another in a molecule movement of electrons from one atom to another Okay, electrons means basically we are talking about the charge, electrons or charge, movement of electrons or charge from one atom to another. So why exactly does this resonance take place? When there is separation of the charge or delocalization of the charge, what happens? It imparts stability or it gives, imparts means it gives stability to the molecule. It gives stability to the molecule stability to the molecule or ion okay, for whichever molecule or ion we are writing resonance structures it will give what it will impart stability to that molecule or ion when we do delocalization that means we do movement of electron now this was about the resonance structures and how do you represent resonance structures second is this is the definition of resonance second is the representation how do you represent uh, resonance structures Suppose there are three resonance structures A, B and C. So which arrow do you use for writing resonance structures that we had seen in the last video of types of arrows. It is a single arrow with a two heads that is a double headed arrow like this. This is what this is an arrow used for resonance. Arrow used for writing resonance structure. Okay, this you have to remember. Now we have to see is the rules for writing resonance structures. So there are very basic two simple rules that you have to remember. First is the position of the atoms does not change. Position of all the atoms remains same. Position of all the atoms remain same. Okay, what is changing is only there is movement of electrons. The electrons move. Second important rule is overall charge of the molecule should remain same. Overall charge of the molecule remains same. And uh, how do you draw a curved arrow? That also we had seen in the last video. From the electron donor or we can say electron rich species. And it ends at the curved arrow ends at the electron deficient species or we can say electron acceptor. Okay, electron deficient species. Okay, so all these things you have to remember. First is the definition. What is resonance? It is delocalization of movement of electrons. Why we do resonance? To impart stability to the molecular ion. Third, it is represented by which arrow? This arrow, single arrow with two heads double headed arrow then these are the two simple rules first is position of all the atoms will remain same the uh, position of atoms never change second is the overall charge of the molecule remains same now let us understand this with the help of some example first is benzene okay, let me again draw the structure of benzene here okay, how do you move this electron let's say here i move like this i'll draw the resonance arrow Okay, two pi bonds are remaining as it is. Here I will get a lone pair negative charge and the electrons have moved from this carbon. So here I will get a positive charge. Now next step is we have to show the curved arrow again. So this pi electrons will move to the, this is electron rich because of the pi electrons, it will move to the electron deficient carbocation. Carbocation means carbon having positive charge. So what we will get, we will get this double bond. Now positive charge will be transferred here. 
and the negative charge that is one lone pair remains as it is. Now this pi electrons will move here. What we will get is minus pi. Now pi electrons have shifted here and here there will be a positive charge. Now simply this pi electrons will move here and what we will get, we will get the final resonance structure. Okay, so, so here in all the structures you can see the position of atoms is same, right? The first structure, what is the charge? Is zero. The second structure, plus one and minus one, they neutralizes each other. Here also there is zero charge. Here also plus one, minus one, zero charge. Zero. Here also there is zero charge. So, charge of the overall molecule in all the structures is same. Third, what we have to draw? We have to draw a resonance hybrid. Now, what exactly is a resonance hybrid? Resonance hybrid represents the average of all the resonance structures. It is what? It is the average of all the resonance structures. How do you draw a resonance hybrid? You draw the sigma bonds first that are not moving like this. And then, whichever electrons have moved, that pi electrons you will show by a dotted line like this. Okay, that is why you might have seen we write benzene in three methods. One is this, or we write like this. Okay, these are the two resonance structures that we had drawn. Or third, what we write benzene, we ben write benzene as a like like a circle. This is what this is nothing but a resonance hybrid that we are writing. So all the three structures that I have drawn are correct for the structure of benzene. Okay, so this was for the benzene. Now let us see the next one, allylic carbocation. Now this we had seen in one of the videos I told you, the carbon containing the double bond is called as vinylic. Next carbon is allylic. And the next carbon is what? Next to allylic is homoallylic. So, allylic carbocation, cation means positively charged species. So, carbocation means positive charge is present at the allylic position. So, allylic position means this position, CH2. Here, I will write a positive charge like this. Now, how do I draw the arrows from electron rich pi electrons to here like this? So, what I will get is, I will get the second resonance structure plus then double bond CH2. So you can see overall charge here it is plus 1. Here also there is plus 1 and there is no atom. Position of all the atom is same. And how do you draw the resonance hybrid? You draw the sigma bond first. And then the pi electrons you can show it by a dotted line like this. Called as a resonance hybrid. Okay, This was about allylic carbocation. Next is benzylic carbocation. So, how do you draw a benzylic carbocation? What is benzylic car carbon? Benzene ring. The carbon next to this. Okay, this, this carbon is called as benzylic carbon. Now, if positive charge is present here, then we call it as benzylic carbocation. This is very, very important. We will see in many reaction mechanisms, we come across allylic carbocation and benzylic carbocation. Okay, so now we have to draw the arrows. This is positive charge. So move one pi electron pair here. Draw the resonance arrow. What I will get? Here there is a formation of double bond and electrons are lost from this carbon. So here and I will add a positive charge. Then pi electrons. Then what is the next step? Move the next pi electron. Double bond CH2. Now double bond is come here. From here the electrons have moved. So this carbon will get a positive charge and pi electron. Now next is this will move here. Okay, the next pi electrons will move here. So positive charge will come here and then what is the last step? Last step is this pi electrons move here and we'll get the last resonance. So basically in aromatic compounds, how will you come to know that the, we have to stop here? You can see the position of the pi bonds is changed. 
okay wherever there was double bond now you can see now you can see there is a sig single bond okay and whenever wherever there was sigma bond now you can see now there is what there is a pi bond so in this way you can confirm that you have to stop here okay so how do you write down the resonance hybrid for this in the same thing draw the sigma bonds first ch2 okay and here i forgot to add the charge here along with the dotted line you add a charge like this if if charge is present benzene has no charge so there will be no charge here you have to write plus charge like this then here what we will do we will draw the dotted line like this this is also involved right so we'll draw like this and then positive charge okay this is what this is the resonance hybrid now let us see the next one next is 13 buta diene now buta means four carbon buta means carbon chain containing four carbons di means two in means double bond one and three so first we draw four carbons then number is this chain one two three four then at the first position there is a double bond third position there is a double bond so this is one three buta diene now let us draw the resonance structures of this how will you draw the resonance structures this i can move here like this what i will get lone pair negative charge positive charge here like this now this pi electrons will move here at the electron deficient carbocation okay so what we get is double bond ch2 plus and lone pair so again here also you can see in all the structures the charge is what zero here also plus one minus one zero zero okay so how will you draw the reson uh, resonance hybrid draw the sigma bond first and then draw the dotted line this will give us the resonance structure is there any charge no okay here also you you can see in all the structures the charge is what plus 1 okay so overall charge is same next we come to carbonate ion what is carbonate formula of carbonate ion co3 2 minus okay so carbon will form double bond with one of the oxygen oxygen having lone pair then the remaining two oxygens they have three electron three lone pair each and we had seen how to assign formal charge in one of the previous videos count the electrons around the atom if it is more than the valence electron we will get and give a negative charge and if it is less than the valence electron then we add a positive charge so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so oxygen has 6 valence electron here there are 7 so we write minus sign here also there will be minus or another way is we had seen by using the formula also you can find out the formal charge okay so how will you draw the resonance structure for this the negative charge will come here this will move like this what we will get carbon oxygen now this above oxygen will get the negative charge here we have double bond oxygen and this oxygen remains as it is Okay, so here if you see the charge is minus 2 second structure also charge is minus 2 is there any other resonance structure possible yes what we can do now is we can add a double bond at this this position okay so i will do i will move this like this and what we will get is the last resonance structure. one two lone pairs double bond carbon oxygen having three lone pair that is seven electrons so a negative charge again oxygen having seven electrons around it so it will be a negative charge how do you draw the resonance hybrid carbon draw the sigma bonds first okay here it will be like this Like this. this is the resonance hybrid so you can see the pi electrons of all the three carbons are involved and the overall charge is what minus two 
टू माइनस हियर ऑल्सो लास्ट स्ट्रक्चर ऑल्सो देर इज टू चार्ज माइनस वन एंड माइनस वन सो दिस वॉज फॉर कार्बोनेट नाउ नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू सी कार्बोक्सीट आयन वॉट इज कार्बोक्सीट आयन आर सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ ओ माइनस दिस इज वॉट दिस इज ए कॉन्जुगेट बेस ऑफ ए कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड कॉन्जुगेट बेस मीन्स रिमूवल ऑफ आफ्टर रिमूवल ऑफ दिस वॉज कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड वेन यू रिमूव एच प्लस आयन वॉट वी गेट इज द कॉन्जुगेट बेस ऑफ द कार्बोक्सिलेट आयन कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड दिस इज कॉन्जुगेट बेस मीन्स फिश इज रिमूवड आफ्टर लॉस ऑफ एच प्लस आयन सो दिस विल मूव हियर हियर रेजोनेंस एरो oxygen having three lone pair negative double bond o a charge here is minus 1 second structure also it is minus 1 how will you draw the resonance hybrid draw the sigma bonds first okay then we draw the dotted line overall charge is minus 1 so we write like this so in this way we can Draw the resonance structure. This was the last example. Uh, I hope you have understood what is resonance. What are the rules for writing resonance? How do you represent resonance structures? So before ending, one more thing. Be very very careful about this arrow. Many times in a hurry we write either this equilibrium arrow, or we sometimes write a reversible reaction arrow, okay, or we sometimes write like this. All these arrows are incorrect. Okay, while writing resonance. Only one arrow should be written. This arrow. Okay. So these are what these are the common mistakes that you have to avoid. That you have to avoid. Okay. I hope you have understood everything about the resonance structures and the rules. Thank you so much.